Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to do this whole episode without making a stupid meatball joke referring to balls. You know, it's just not funny. Because these are like 18 times the size of my balls. Buongiorno, you fucking Italian freaks. What the fuck's going on? You know what's exciting about today? I'm going to be making mini meatball stuffed baked ziti. I think this was invented once again in the greatest region of Italy, New Jersey. What the fuck are they doing over there? They're just yelling at you. I love it though. What the fuck are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> I was looking at the big ziti you were eating, you big fucking gabagool. This thing is fucking good warm. This thing is good cold. You take this thing out of the fridge, you put it on a piece of bread and eat it. Big glass of milk. You think I'm a fucking serial killer? Lock me up, cause I'm about to murder this meatball and baked ziti, okay? First thing we got to do though, we got to get our balls going and we got to get a little pomodori going, a little marinara. What do we got to do to make meatballs? The beef, the pork, the veal is where I like to be at. I got about a pound of meat here. I'm just guessing. First thing I like to do, just a little olive oil, just to fucking round this out. Fresh cracky peppy. We're gonna throw in some salt. I follow like the same kind of recipe, but I don't, you know? We got a half a cup, that's Parmigiana Reggiani. Boom. Um, we got a half a cup of dry breadcrumbs. Boom. We got a quarter cup of pecorino. Boom. I'm not like a firm recipe guy. A little chili flakies. I'm gonna put in what, one egg? A little bit of milk, a quarter cup. I like to make things different every time. That's the fun of it for me. I got my freshies, day old breadies. We're making a sloshy. A sloshy, sloshy, sloshy. I like cooking. And cooking is a, a voyage. We're gonna put in like a little tablespoon Boom. of tomato paste. We're gonna just grate some garlic. Ow, some fingernails too. And then I want some fresh chopped parsley. Get your big old greasy hand in there. We're just gonna mix our meatballs. When you get on that boat and you're coming over to New Jersey, imagine coming from Italy to New Jersey. New Jersey is a beautiful place actually. You know, the garden state. I don't know, I feel Italy was pretty banging. Trade Coffee is an incredible coffee, yeah! Trade Coffee is a coffee service that brings coffee from all over the world. Different coffees, 55 top roasters, enabling you to make the best coffee of your life. Imagine being home and waking up in the morning and being like, I wanna feel this. I want a darky roasty. I want a mellow on the top of the mountain. I want something that makes me feel like the wind is blowing and I'm looking out at the Swiss Alps. We can do it for you. Any type of coffee that you want, you can get. The color of the rainbow of coffee. A bunch of different beans roasted for you, working with the top suppliers, gets delivered to your door. Hallelujah. Did you know that it's hassle free? There's zero hassle. Boom. It smells like coffee. You receive a free bag of coffee. Go to drinktrade.com slash Matty23. That's M-A-T-T-Y, two, three. Here we go. These are gonna be really scrumptious, I think. They got the big pieces of bread in them. They got that garlic. I think these are gonna be good little meatballs. <laughs> Shoot me now. Okay, the meatballs are done. Hey, I'm hey man, the episode just started. We're gonna kind of shallow fry these fuckers because I wanna. So I'm gonna do about six cloves of garlic. Here's garlic. Boom. Now we're just gonna take our meatballs and throw them in to the olive oil. We're just gonna fry these up. We got our olive oil going on. Look at what's happening around us. Olive oil, garlic, cha, 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 cha. Meatballs browning, cha, 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 cha. Goal! I think I watched a couple soccer matches, a couple footballs. I'm West Ham, obviously. I have no idea. This is how I'm gonna get myself in the most trouble, is talking about soccer, football. Let's just get back to making fun of Italians. Our garlic is getting a little toasty. We're gonna take our little tomato paste, boop, put it in there. I still meet people that are like, my get you laid lasagna, you know? And I'm just like, how long ago? That's like 10 years old, that video. Pinch of dried chilies, pinch of basil, dried basil, pinch of dried oregano. The lasagna was for fucking. This, this is marriage. A little fresh cracked pepper into the oil. This is compromising. I like to season all my oil at the bottom first. Still holding integrity. Get it, just open it up. And coming together 
Then we got our tomato puree. This is this is four to two, you know? And then I'm just gonna add a little water. Let's see the consistency here. I don't know if the words I'm saying are correct. And now we're gonna just dump these into the sauce. But I think it's something, you know? Our little freshy basils, that's nice. How many meatballs can you fit in your mouth? Show me in the comments. You want some user generated fucking shit? Give me it in the comments. <laughs> I got some pepper in my mouth. Look at that. Oh, turn it down nice and low. And we're gonna just put the little lid on. And we're gonna just pray to Mother Teresa. You know Mother Teresa was in the CIA. Can't get anything past me. I'm gonna just start reciting everything that I see on the internet because like Mother Teresa was definitely CIA. So I got a box of ziti here. We got boiling salted water. Once again, season it to the, your desired thing. You want the salinity of the fucking ocean? Go ham. You want a little season? Go ham. You don't want to season it? Cool. Don't care. Okay, throw your zits in. Throw your ziti in. People that put olive oil in their water are losers, correct. We want to cook it like al dente, to the two. If you get to the point where you're taking your pasta and you cook it too far, then you bake it, then what? You got toilet paper fucking pasta, Nimrod, you fucking bozo. So we're gonna take our ricotta. Boom. I'm just gonna do like one container worth cause it's like, Boom. it'll be plenty, okay? Boom. Add some parm. I'm gonna put one egg into it. Gonna add a little salt even though there's parm just because I'm a little bad boy. Dried chilies. And then I love a ton of black pepper in ricotta. And then we're just gonna mix this up. Okay, ricotta done. We're having a good time. You know, pasta all tastes the same, but it feels so different. Each pasta makes you feel so different. The only pasta that can suck my balls, farfafelli. You know, the farfafelli, the bow tie, fuck, beat it. Okay, that one, scram. That's the one pasta I'm just saying, you, you're not doing much. You're not adding to the conversation. And I gave an oath, never again. And today I'm making something with love. We're there, stop, oh my God. So the thing is, is I wanna fill this up with noodles. So here we go, boom. Cause I wanna measure this kind of right. So the biggest thing is like, I need to get my noodles to the desired place. So here we go. Oh, this has been cooking for years. So the thing is too, is I'm straining it off and I'm just gonna try to get as many meatballs in there as possible. You want just the right amount. I think that's the right amount, okay? So now I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a stir. This is some ratio. This is everyone's gonna get something here. Now what I wanna do is add the ricotta and we're just gonna move it around a little bit. Just let them kind of fall down and find these little pockets. Now we get the sauce. Oh yeah. We don't want this soupy, okay? I don't want this to be some soupy ass thing. Much like Italy, there's highs and lows. We can do some fresh cracked pep because I'm a big fresh cracked pep guy. There's rivers and valleys, there's ocean, there's cliffs. Then watch this. We like a cheese. We like a, a cheese. There's mountains, there's waterfalls. So then once again, I'm just gonna kind of make a move. So then there's cheese within. Doesn't this look good? We're building this up a bit. We're building this up a bit. I don't know if there's waterfalls. I'm presuming there's waterfalls. I've never been to Italy. I've been to New Jersey a handful of times. Another little lashing of sauce. The alchemy of this dish, you will see. And then the cheese. And we will replenish and we will eat it and we will sit on the couch in the oven. And we will yell at our loved ones. 400 degrees, middle rack. See you fucking later. Suck on my balls. I love staring into the ZD. Do you love staring into the ZD? <sighs> Look across that. That looks like a goddamn fucking mountain range. If you've been watching me since the get you laid lasagna, I wanna just thank you. I don't even care if you fucking cook. If you laugh and it makes you feel good, I'm happy. Mamma mia, cacciatore, ba, 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 ba. I feel I'm gonna end up in jail one day. I wanna push it to the fucking limit. This is gonna be a live stream. We're not editing any of this. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. You know that documentary, Game of Thrones? Go in the garage and just start hammering something. Show me somebody else that can talk to an oven for 20 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use any of this. Okay, fuck it, we're good. We're good? Oh, yeah, we're good, cacciatore. Okay, this is what I'm talking about here. We're going in. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. 
Not too saucy, you know? It's shut the fuck up. Insane. It's shut the fuck up. Get your ass out the front door. Ugh. Walk down the street, get a job, fucking buy a house. Oh my God, it's so good. Look at that noodle, perfectly cooked. It's just, it's crazy. It is wild. Oh. How good this is. And I'm not even supposed to eat this because I'm healthy now. I'm Matt Madison, welcome to Cooking Something. Thanks to our sponsors. Have a great day. If you make this, you will seal the deal. Three kids, golden retriever, car garage. This is how you make baked CD with mini meatballs. I love my wife and my children. You know when you bust and you just say I love you right after? Don't do that. Because it's the same as I'm sorry. When you bust and you I'm sorry. It's the same. Those two things are the same. They, they hear. Whoever is the reciprocant of that hears the same thing, which is, gotta get out of here.